Good morning. Thank you for joining me, Pastor Zach Williams of Flat Creek Baptist Church here in Gainesville, Georgia, for another edition of New Horizons, the daily podcast and radio ministry of Flat Creek Baptist Church. It is always my greatest joy to be able to dive deep into God's Word with you, and I pray that these daily podcasts are a blessing to you and your family and your walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, today we're going to continue walking through the book of Acts, and we're going to do something that we haven't done since we've started this uh, journey together. I'm going to kind of um, kind of jump forward a little bit. It's not that what we see at the end of chapter 19 isn't important. I just feel like we can touch on it as we move along. Uh, but just to kind of set the context for you, uh, what we have here in chapter 19, uh, just after these demons are uh, attack the seven sons of Sceva. You know, the Bible tells us that the message of the Lord Jesus Christ, it, it begins to flourish there in Ephesus and people are saved. And, and what we see in that point in chapter 19 is this moment where this man named Demetrius, who's a silversmith, uh, he begins to conjure up a fight against the apostle Paul and the members of what he calls the way, this young Christian church. And, and he, he's, he's aggravated and mad because people are being saved. And as they're being saved, it's taking money out of his pocket because he is in the idol making business. He makes idols to uh, the, the uh, goddess of Ephesus named Diana or Artemis. And so uh, he gets aggravated, he gets mad, he starts a revolt in the city, there's a riot that breaks out. Uh, we've seen this many times in the lives of the Apostle Paul and his ministry partners. Uh, Paul from there is going to go to Macedonia, uh, he's going to go to Troas. Now, one thing that I would encourage you to go read is Acts chapter 20, verse 7 through verse number 12. Uh, I think that would be a great blessing to you. That's uh, Paul's reviving of Eutychus. Um, after Eutychus falls out of the window from a night of long preaching, it's a wonderful message there to go and read. The only reason I'm not going to stop and spend time there is because um, I've actually did four podcasts on that at an earlier time, and so there's no need to go back and do that again. However, I do want us to come <clears throat> to chapter 20, verse number 17. And so remember that Paul's on these missionary journeys and he's, he's going from one city to the next. And we've seen this pattern in the life of the apostle Paul as how many times uh, when he leaves a city, he will eventually come back around to it. And that's what we're going to see here. Paul is on his way uh, really has a desire to go to Rome, but before he gets to Rome, he's going to go to Jerusalem first. And so what he's going to do on his way to Jerusalem and then ultimately Rome is he's going to swing back by Ephesus, that place that we just heard about where those demons attacked the seven sons of Sceva and this uh, revolt broke out and a church was planted there. Uh, Paul spent three years there. He leaves and now he's going to journey back to Ephesus on his way to Jerusalem, on his way ultimately to Rome. And he wants to swing back by and see those people that he loves, those people that uh, he cherishes with all of his heart. And what I want to say to you right here from the very beginning is, uh, you know, a, a pastor, uh, oftentimes God will lead a pastor from one location to the next. And, and I want you to know, just as a pastor who is now pastoring his third church, it's never easy to leave the people that you love. You know, every single place that I've been, there are relationships, friendships that will last a lifetime. And every time God has ever called me and my family away from a location, uh, it hurts us because we don't want to leave those people behind. And it's always a joy to be invited back. You know, any pastor that's listening to me right now, you know the joy uh, of, of being asked to come preach a homecoming or something like that because you love the people so much and just to go back to see their face and know they're doing well. Well, that's kind of the heart of Paul here. He's swinging back by Ephesus on his way to Jerusalem. He wants to see their face. He wants to check on them, make sure they're okay. But more than anything, Paul actually knows in his heart that this could be the last time that he ever sees them. And so he wants to give them a few words to remember 
as he is leaving. And so uh, I want us to take uh, just four sessions of these podcasts and just go through these, uh, these, these few lessons of the Apostle Paul. I want you to listen to what he says. The Bible says in chapter 20, verse 17 of the book of Acts, Now from Maltus, he sent to Ephesus and he called for the elders of the church. And when they came to him, he said to them, You know from the first day that I set foot in Asia, how I was with you the whole time, serving the Lord with all humility, with tears, and with trials that came to me through the plots of the Jews, and that I not, did not shrink back from proclaiming to you anything that was profitable or from teaching it to you in public and from house to house. I testified to both Jews and Greeks about repentance toward God and faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. And, and so we think about this kind of homecoming sermon of the Apostle Paul, and, and the first thing that he tells those individuals in Ephesus, he says, hey, as you think back about my time as your pastor, uh, one thing that I want you to always do when you're considering my love for you is I want you to remember the past. I, I want you to remember the good times we had together. I, I want you to remember those days where we saw the Spirit of God at work. I, I want you to remember those days where we saw individuals coming to a saving relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to remember those times when we went down to the riverside and we celebrated a baptism. I want you to remember those times that we broke bread together and shared in the Lord's Supper. I want you to remember those times when we opened up the Bible and we dug deep into God's Word together and we searched the Scriptures to see how Jesus is the Messiah that was prophesied from the very beginning of time. I, I want you to remember not just the good times, but I want you to remember the bad times. I want you to remember the times that, that you know, Demetrius did rise up against us and how God strengthened us. I want you to remember those times when we were persecuted for the faith, but God gave us the power and gave us the endurance to make it through each and every day because of the things that were coming against us. I want you to remember uh, all the things that we went through together. You see, I'm going to Jerusalem I'm going to Rome. God's got a message and a plan for me. He's got a calling on my life. And this may be the last time we're ever together. And after today, there's going to be things that are said about me. People are going to, people are going to come by and they're going to tell you, don't believe what the Apostle Paul says. They're going to do all this stuff. But you know me. You know me because we were together. So when the enemy attacks... When people are coming against you, when people are saying that, you know, old Paul, he did this or that, just remember the love that I have for you. Remember what we went through together. And, and if you remember what we went through together, then you will stay firm in the faith. And friends, I want you to know today for a church, it's good to remember the past. Now, when I say remember the past, I'm not saying we get stuck in the past, but what I'm telling you today is it's good to remember the past. It's good to remember the good times that you had together. It's good to remember how the spirit worked. It's good. It's good to remember the bad times and how you walk through some stuff together. Because when you remember the past, you can look at the guy, the lady next to you, and you can remember that's not my enemy. No, we have journeyed together in the faith. We've walked together in the faith, and we're going to walk forward into the future in faith, knowing that God has a plan in place for us. And so if I could encourage any pastor or any church today, I would encourage you to just remember the past. You know, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to remember where you came from and to see where God has brought you and to rejoice over the journey. Uh, may God bless you today as you journey with him. And if I can ever come alongside of you in your walk with the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, just visit our website, flatcreekchurch.net, and you can contact me there. May God bless you, and I'll see you next time on New Horizons.